educated and a uh, great doctor. But he's a very good friend um, <clears throat> and, and just one of the greatest guys you'll meet. Just tremendous. Um, um, and not only that, uh, a few years ago he, he saved my life. Thank you, brother. <laughs> um, so, that's all the sensitivity you're going to get. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I have to tell you, uh, and I'm sure you understand, I, I was a bit reluctant to come up here dealing with a lot of, uh, I guess you could say family struggles. I had a couple of deaths in my immediate family in the past few months, so I've been kind of consumed by grief and sadness, um, which I can put aside. And, um, and um, that's in no small, small part due to uh, Stephanie Reynolds, who was uh, prevailing upon me to, uh, to perform tonight, um, and most of us, uh, or, well, some of us know how hard it is to say no to Stephanie. <laughs> I, I, can, I can see my friend Kevin Reynolds over there going, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> she, I mean, a few days ago she said, uh, so you're singing a song at G's Dinner, right? You, you didn't sing a song for Joe Benz last year. I mean, wow. okay, I know you were being honored, and. You did already speak for 22 minutes and 16 seconds, uh, but um, you know it's gee, you got to you got to sing a song. You got. I was still, you know, I'm still been struggling things, so I said um, I, I tried a few different tactics. First was empathy. I said, well, Stephen Gale, it's, it's a really tough crowd at these dinners. Sometimes, I mean, there's harsh critics out there, like. Like Kajini and uh, you know um, Kajini, you know. <laughs> um, and actually, uh, you know, Don Don, Don Kajini told me also. He said, you know, how do you write a song about a guy named Jalanella? You know, you can say, for he's a jolly good fellow. His name only rhymes with Salmonella, uh, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really work. So. Anyway, Stephanie wasn't amused, so I had to move on to the uh, diversionary tactic. Okay, diversion. Well, you know, there's not a lot of guys at Riverview that are, you know, like G, you know. But what about Pran Shaw? You know, he's, you know, you know he's, he's leaving. Somebody should speak about him. So I will. I just want to say a couple words about Pran, uh, wherever you are. I don't see where he is, but... Pran, I just want to say you're not only a, a great doctor, but I think an even better person, and I'm going to miss you, and good luck in, in your career moving forward. We're going to miss you, Riverview, you. Thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, diversion did not work with Stephanie, so then I moved on to my um, distractionary tactic, which was... Um, channeling my best uh, Mr. Rogers impersonation. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. De -de 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 -de. Hello, children. Hello, Stephanie. Today's letter is the letter G. G stands for Jalanella. Can you say that? Can you spell that? Nobody can. <laughs> Which is why we call him G, of course. Um, so apparently, distraction didn't work. Uh, Stephanie's not a really big fan of Mr. Rogers, so. Um, <clears throat> then I started hearing voices that were coming, Jim, Cam, Dr. Cam. And the voices were leading me to doing some calculations. Oh, the voices first said, this is not just about Jalanella. This is about all those red bank gastroenterology types. You have to be our voice, Jim. You have to be our voice. So the voices led me to a few uh, calculations, which I made. I did some of these calculations here. Uh, just bear with me. 92.3% uh, of all the staff at Riverview Hospital have had a scope from red bank gastroenterology. Okay. 100% of people in this room have had a colonoscopy in Red Bank Gastro. One person in this room has set the hospital record for the, record for the most endoscopies and colonoscopies. Um, one person in this room has set the record for the most endoscopies and colonoscopies in a 20, in a 20 minute span. <clears throat> uh, 
Tim Hogan has actually had five colonoscopies in 2017 from Red Bank <laughs> And um, just above Tim, God is scheduled for a colonoscopy in June with the Red Bank uh, So I'm going to um, first apologize to Tim and to God for HIPAA violation. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I will respond to the voices, and I am going to sing a song. It's pretty rough. <laughs>